The Chinese party has endorsed the, uh, they're not a party, Chinese Communist, yeah, they are a party. Chinese Communist Party has just endorsed the Liberal Party in the 2021 elections. For a lot of people, that'd be enough. Good enough, okay. You support them, we don't. There's, there's so many just, okay, this, we closed the door already, right? SNC, uh, paying out the media. There's a host of things. Uh, this is another one. Um, there are a lot of people in Canada making a lot of money off of uh, Chinese investments in, into Canada. You can't really blame them. People selling real estate, people selling uh, mortgage insurance, probably real estate developers, etc., making a lot of money off uh, Chinese investments into the into Canada. Probably a good time to refamiliarize ourselves with the idea of unrestricted warfare. The Chinese party has a policy of unrestricted warfare. What that means is that they're going to try to conquer the Western democracies in any way that they can, including uh, getting them addicted to drugs and uh, killing them off. I think more people died of uh, fentanyl overdoses in the last year than uh, died of uh, COVID. They're bringing it in, they're selling it, they're laundering the money through the casino, and uh, they're, in, they're inflating the price of real estate. Aaron O'Toole said, I'm going to uh, cut down on uh, non-resident investments into the Canadian real estate market. That's real. Um, on a related note, uh, because there would be people, uh, I don't mean to be racist, but if you're uh, a Chinese communist member from China, and uh, then you're probably Chinese, aren't you? And there's probably a lot more uh, pe Chinese, people of Chinese ancestry that are, have, let's say, mixed loyalties towards Canada than we'd want to admit. I mean, that's really tough. Uh, how are you actually going to deal with that? Because, uh, you know, they're not walking around with horns on their head. They're going to be uh, superficially very nice people. Uh, sometimes they're going to be um, regular people. They're going to be extraordinarily uh, intelligent people who understand uh, the Canadian situation better than most Canadians. And they're going to be the type, I saw uh, one time the two of them together, so there's that type, and then there's the other type who uh, can just let you know, don't mess around with me. And I saw the two of them together walk around, it's a perfect partnership. What? Don't mess around with me intellectually because you'll lose. Don't mess around with me uh, in any way whatsoever. Don't criticize the Chinese Communist Party, none of that, or uh, you know what you'll get absolutely clear. I think I can say that I have a little bit of insight in the way that Chinese civilization works. I know that type of person. I live around that type of person. They're not Chinese Communist Party members, but they are uh, uh, Chinese um, criminals. Just in my, I lived around it for years. Not, they're petty criminals. Um, Okay, so I was going to say, okay, so there's this, that raises the issue of uh, how many Canadians are actually loyal to Canada. And not directly related to Trudeau, but it, um, indirectly, I suppose. He's the big multiculturalist. Anyway, Jagmeet Singh is a Sikh. And Sikhs pulled off the biggest terror attack on Canadians in Canadian history. Air India. And I remember, it wasn't that long ago, and he should have been asked about this some at some point. Uh, does he accept that that was a, a terrorist attack on Canada and on uh, Hindus in India committed by Sikh terrorists? Because the last time I heard him talk about that, he wasn't quite sure that it was Sikh terrorists that did it. And he was att attending meetings of people who worship the people who were, they think, were falsely accused of blowing that plane up. Air India. 
that was a thing. How that's not a thing now? Just, uh, are you still attending those meetings? I'm not saying that he shouldn't attend those meetings. You can attend any meeting that you want. But do you agree with what they're saying? It's really fundamental. Uh, the trip to India that they took was an issue because what we did was we made bad friends with Hindu nationals. I don't, okay, I don't want to be bad friends with Hindu nationals, do you? <clears throat> Ooh. Uh, Norm MacDonald, uh, I think that he was actually funnier as he got older. He started doing this Nazi thing. And he would uh, have Jewish guests on, some of them probably Holocaust survivors. And his line at that time, he was saying for a while, you know, I've been looking into this Hitler guy. This is like 2018. I've been looking into this Hitler guy. You know what? I've concluded he wasn't a great guy. You know, I think, I think that if I could go back in time, I might kill him. I might kill that Hitler. Uh, which is so preposterous on so many levels. But uh, he, uh, Norm Macdonald is a six, was a 61 year old Canadian guy. And uh, I think that probably most people in the Western world were confronted very early in life with the notion of whether or not you'd go back, if you could go back in history, whether you'd kill Hitler. And, you know, he's a human being. Should we respect his basic humanity and not kill him? Or should we kill him? And basically everybody was like, yeah, I'd kill him. I'd kill him. That was, like, pounded into our heads from, the, from forever. Um, I'd, I'd probably kill him. <clears throat> I could kill him. I could go back down. I don't think I could get like my hands bloody or anything like that, but like if I could stand at a distance and like uh, pop them off, yeah, I think I think that if I could go back and Hitler I'd, in time, I'd, I'd kill Hitler uh, and I kill Stout and Mao. And I kill him. <clears throat> it's funny. Maybe you don't get it. Whatever. Uh. uh I don't like people who are politically correct weighing in on comedy in any way whatsoever because all good comedy almost is politically incorrect, doesn't it? If you set up a situation where you can't say this, you can't say that, well then it's going to be funny when somebody violates those rules. That's